What's up guys, my name is Jalapeno and today I'm going to be making a tutorial. Now, I played the Infinite Black on my channel before, and I played three ships with only one uh, emulator open, and two um, of my actual devices in real life. But, I thought that I needed more, I needed more ships than just three, I needed six. So I started looking around the internet, and I couldn't really find any YouTube tutorials on how to do this. So I thought I'd make one myself. Um, firstly, the program that I'm using is called Jenny Motion. It is probably the easiest uh, program that you can use for this. And first, I'm going to show you which of the uh, uh, things you need to download is. First is Jenny Motion. That, yeah, this is the Jenny Motion page. You literally just go get Jenny Motion. It's JennyMotion.com. Then you click download, and you do need to make an account, but uh, that shouldn't take too long. It's just, it, it, it's free. <laughs> okay, then the next thing we need to download is this ARM translation. Uh, you just click download file, and you download it. And then the third will be this one. I'll put all these links in the description so it's easier. And we will download the 10.2. This link right here. Just click on Torrent and it'll download for you. This is the version that we will use with this uh, file. So once you have all three of those downloaded, you open Jenny Motion. And then you log in, I mean, there, I, I can download the latest version, but whatever. You log in, and then click Add. Well, yeah, you log in on this thing, so you can have all the different kinds of devices. I use the Sony Xperia Z just because it, it works. It's, I bet they work on every other thing, but whatever. And then you click Next, and you'll create the device doesn't take too long to create the device, it's just a little while, I'll show you how, yeah, there we go, finished it, now, okay, this is the fourth one, I, yeah, I, I haven't named them, but you can name them, uh, just click play, and it'll initialize, I'll start the virtual device, and I'll cut to where this is ready, alright, we're back, and as you can see, it's just the regular Android uh, booting screen. Click OK. And now, those other files that we downloaded, we had to download them because Jenny Motion doesn't allow Google Apps. But because there are so many geniuses in the world, uh, we have ways around that. Now, the first file we downloaded first file we downloaded was uh, the ARM translator. This lets us, I guess, translate it so it can accept Google Apps. Then we just click it, and drag it over, and it'll say file transfer in progress, and it says we need to reboot. So after we get done, we go down to the bottom here, click on the little arrow, bring up shutdown, you shut it down, oh, and turn it back on, and alright, from here, we need to take that second one and also drag it over. Now we're done with those downloads, file transfer in progress, alright, it'll say, you just click OK for this. Let the file transfer happen. You'll see that up there. All right. Once this gets done, I can show you. It says, unfortunately, Google Play services have stopped. And from here, you can see that we have Google Plus, and Gmail, and Google Settings, and we have the Play Store. But don't click on it yet. From here, you need to completely X out of the device and reboot it. Like fully X out and then go back to Jetty Motion and click play. 
and it'll start up again. I'll cut this out. Oh wait, no, I don't have to. All right, it'll say Android is upgrading, finishing boot, and when we go over to Play Store, click on it, and you just add your Google account. You can make a new one or have an existing one. I just made like a bunch of new ones that were like I eat leg armor and things like that. Um, you can just create your new account, and then it works like a regular Google Play thing. You can just download it, and it binds. It takes a little bit of your performance out of like your CPU and your RAM, and it uses a little bit of your Wi-Fi, and that's how it, it runs so many. It can run so many at the same time. So if you have a better CPU and more RAM, then you can run more of these virtual machines. Ah, uh, so when I have <laughs> when I have four of them. And I'll cut to when they're all together. It looks like this! And I can just like size them as I want to. I don't have to have like that one thing in VirtualBox where you had to click and it would only fit the mouse in one point. Now I can just log into Blue Server, I guess. And look, boom, boom, it works, boom, go! It gets a little bit laggy because of uh, all of them running at once, and they might uh, disconnect a few times, but after the first, like, three disconnects, it'll be completely fine. I ran for hours with four of these and two other devices working, and it works quite well, and people have been like, Whoa, why are there so many guys in one stack? Is it, like... Are we farming together? But no, it's just me and my alts. No, yeah. This is the best way that I've seen to get alts. Because I can have even more than four. I could probably have like... Eight. <laughs> I don't know. Well, uh, that's all for now. Thank you guys for watching. My name is Alfano. This has been a tutorial. And I will see you all later.